Kansas didn't vote to, or, or wait, they voted to protect abortion rights. I wanted to make sure I got their communist words correctly on it. What am I reading? Kansas is a pretty red state. What happened? This is a great question. I, I've honestly been thinking about this a lot today. So part of the, part of the reason is, I guess there are two things that come immediately to mind. One is Kansas is a red state in theory, right? I mean, like they did usually get around 55 to 60% of their statewide votes go Republican. They have two current Republican senators. At the same time, Chris Kobach lost a statewide election there in 2018. You know, Kathleen Sebelius, before she was an Obama administration cabinet secretary, she was, I, I believe, a two-term governor of Kansas. She was very pro-abortion. George Tiller, the infamous, you know, now deceased late-term abortionist, he was based out of there in Kansas. So th there's a weird thing going on there in Kansas politics that I don't pretend to fully have my thumb on the pulse of. But the other thing going on here is that this ballot referendum was phrased horribly. I mean, you know, I could read the thing on air if you want me to. It, it was just deeply confusing. I mean, whatever, who, whatever the lawyers were in Topeka, Kansas, there in the state capitol who drafted this thing and put it out before the voters, if you were to kind of submit that to a first year law school legal writing and research seminar, you would get an F. I mean, it was just overly lawyer language. <laughs> Basically, a lot, of, a lot of the people showed up there. It honestly, to an extent, made it seem like if you voted yes, you were actually voting for abortion, whereas if you were voting yes, in reality, you were actually just voting to oh. remove the Supreme Court's authority. It was just terribly phrased. So those two factors combined, it's, it, it's a setback here, but you know, pro-lifers, I think we, we have, we'll, we'll march forward. I mean, you know, it's, it's a defeat, but we'll, we'll march forward, Jess. You stinking lawyers, Josh.